hello 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 my beautiful people today I am going to do three colors I brought this fluid paint and I didn't know what it was I just wanted to see what it was so it was on sale and I think this fluid plate is just a premix or a thinner paint I looked and try and figure out um, find out what it was you know what it was but I couldn't find it so I brought I think I bought four colors yeah four colors that I like so I brought this red orange just a vivid red orange and I used this for I think another pour that I used and I didn't like it as much but it's a pretty metallic uh, red orange and then um, here's a, I have a brand new bottle of this um, God, this writing is so small. Dur Diozine Purp. I don't know. It's it's small, too small for me. So I'm using that. I had some leftover silver that I need to mix up because I hope it didn't get no paint boogies in it. Uh oh, what color is on here? I don't know. Hope I didn't get any paint boogies from another pour that I did and. It got some bubbles in it, but yep, that's a good consistency. So when I was looking at these colors, they were thin. So I said, I think they might be already poor. So let's try it out. I'm gonna leave the top on these. And I have this vase. I'm trying to remember where I got this vase from. I think I got this vase from the dollar store. I've been getting my other vases from thrifty stores. Um, you know, just playing around, seeing what what I'm you know discovering and not spending a whole lot of money, but you know, so that I can get perfect this. Bam, look at that. That's level. That's level. That bubble in the middle. It's leveled. So I am going to just pour, just pour this around the sides and see, see that's not thin enough for me. See, but it says fluid. Okay, so I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this to the side, big clunks of it, and put another color there to push it to the side what colors do i have made so that yeah that's not as thin as i thought it was i'm gonna do that with this color too see we we're, we're discovering things together discovering it all together see that's why i don't pay a lot on these vases so if i when i do perfect this and i get somebody to start buying these vases for they their uh, flower shop. Now, would you like to buy a beautiful vase instead of just a clear white vase where you can just see nothing but the bottom? Nothing but the bottom. But you'll have a beautiful vase to keep. Because you know you pay at least $25 for these vases, depending on where you're buying it from. So I had this silver mixed up with some flow, flow trawl and some water. So hopefully it'll push those colors down. Let's see how that works. If not, I'll take these and put some flow trawl linen and some water and mix it up and see how it, oh, that's pretty. See how it flows. Yeah, that paint is thick. That is not a, I don't know what fluid is then. <laughs> I 
just so that I get the paint to flow down the sides. So when you when I'm mixing these paints up to make sure that they are thin enough to flow, I put half parts water. No, no, sorry. I put half pot part uh, flow trawl, and then I just mix water with it to change the consistency to make it you know thinner so it flows. So as you see, when I poured out this fluid paint, that it did not flow. It didn't flow. And the, this one didn't let it go as much either. See how that is? So I have some paints that are made up and they're ready to go. I think I'm looking at them. I think I'm just going to get those and just play with those instead of these. So I know that this fluid paint ain't the paint to work with. Be right back. Discover, discover, discover. Okay, I am back. And I've said it several times on some of my videos. If I have some artists out there and you see something that you can help me with please say something please so i have the purple and i mixed up some more silver to put to pour over because i like the silver and the purple together this vase even though it's not complete it is pretty and I'm getting the consistency of the silver together. So I will pour the purple. And I'm trying out these new squirt bottles too. I do need a little bit more water and the silver. Is it pretty on that side of what? It's flowing. Got a little hang ups here with that orange that was underneath there. I wanna just pull all that down and let that flow out, but it's not going to. It's just too thick. Look at that, that's pretty. 
Uh oh. Silver took over. Purple being my favorite color is just such. Purple can be a romantic color. It can be, you know, a spring color, a fall color, but it's just. It's going to be sexy. It's just so pretty to me. Ooh, that's a lot of silver. And then silver is just, it's just silver. <laughs> People don't like silver, especially when their hair turns silver. <laughs> or they call it gray. It's silver to me. And that is still beautiful. Like my gray hair painting that I did. I love that painting. Y'all say, y'all, is she finished yet? No, no, I ain't finished. Oh, I see on this side right here. Not flowing down to the end. I do one more layer because it has to be able to stick on there. So we'll do a silver. And then just mess it up with a purple. How that sound? Woo wee! It's flowing. It's flowing. Go purple. Go silver. It's fl it's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty. Two colors. Mm -mm. Got some bubbles. Got some bubbles. Come on on this side, purple. This painting underneath is going to be pretty. It's going to be really pretty. I don't think I'm going to put any more silver. Oh, on that side, that's a lot of purple. Let me see. Yeah. Let me stand up and look. I'm looking through this. Oh, yeah, that's pretty right there. That's pretty. I have more gray with streaks of silver on this side. I mean, um, silver with streaks of purple on this side. I thought it was going to. So I like the squirt bottles. I really do. But I have to see if they get boogies in them. Paint boogies. Paint the boogies. 
So I'm going to show you this side. Let's see what I could do. Oh, I know what I did. Bam. Don't talk about me. Don't talk about it. Maybe I'll work with that program and, and edit that part out. If not, you're going to see it. Isn't that pretty? So it's streaks of purple. Isn't that pretty? That's so pretty. Look at the top, which is the bottom. Oh, that's pretty. That's so pretty. So I got a little part right here that didn't, oh, let me get the air bubbles out. I think you can see them now. My tennis shoes. <laughs> so this little thing right here is probably the orange underneath that didn't flow down. So it'll flow better. Isn't that pretty? That's pretty. I'm glad I picked those two colors. I'm really glad I did. Maybe I'll push some of this over and cover that part up. It's still gonna flow down. Looks like it was a little stoppage right here. There it goes. Bam! It's fixed. So that's pretty. That's a pretty one. Woo! I can't wait till my tulips come in season and I will have my vases with my tulips coming out of them. Let me pause and turn it around. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I was just talking to you and if it wasn't even on. Anyway, I took the vase off of the canvas and I wanted to show you how I tilt. I probably showed you all the other videos, but not everybody watches all the same videos. So I'm just going to tilt this to let the paint run off on the sides so that the canvas gets color covered. I see an orange right there. Tilt it back. Make sure the sides are covered. I brought a whole box of these little small frames so I can do these videos and just have little small frames. Because when you buy in bulk, you make, you save more. So, isn't that pretty? Oh, that's pretty. Go on to that corner. Go on to the corner. Wasn't a lot of paint. Gonna run on over to this co corner. Help it. So that is, look at that little streak of orange right there. That's pretty, actually. I'm going to let it run off, though. <laughs> Don't run off, orange. So that is the vase and the painting. Isn't that pretty? I have one of the vases that I made, the poxy, and a... picture beside each other and it is so pretty well thank you for watching 
I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. I love you, I love you, I love you. I'm going to put these up, put this up on the holders so it can dry. And I am going to call it a night. Again, thank you. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, tell a friend about Thelma and her acrylic pores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to do a painting maybe. I said bye, huh? I'm still talking.